screen. When you found out that the FBI had located even more classified materials in Wilmington, which four letter word did you use? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, Peter. Um, <laughs> President Biden is still intending to run for re-election in 2024, right? Uh, What's up, guys? Your boy Benny. In times of crisis, you really see who people are. Things that test your metal, right? As they say. And uh, when the house is on fire, you really get to see who has character and who behaves well, uh, like some type of comical Batman or Dick Tracy villain. At least that's how they're dressing. And also how they're behaving inside of the Joe Biden, Kamala Harris regime right now. Cringe Jean Pierre being pressed by Peter Ducey at the White House as to why this regime is spending all of our disaster relief funds that we put in as American taxpayers into the billions of dollars that go to FEMA every year, why is that being spent on criminal aliens? Cringe Jean Pierre running away, physically running away from Fox News and Peter Ducey asking those logical common sense questions, especially in times of horrible disasters like right now. But first, I want to talk about something uh, about as important, which is, is Cringe Jean Pierre uh, Oswald Cobblepot from The Penguin? What the hell is she wearing? What the hell is going on right now? I, I know it may seem superficial, but when you are in positions of prominence, like speaking for the president, at some point, you're, you're going to have to, like, well, take, take the way that you look uh, seriously. Otherwise, no one's going to care what you have to say. You're just going to get memed <laughs> to death. <laughs> Which is what happened. I don't. I don't really know what. I don't know what it, how it is. But you can see, Ducey better leave K. J. Capone alone. <laughs> Cringe, Jean Pierre storming out of the press conference, getting all of the uh, headlines. But you, again, before I play you the clip, it's really important to like. It's really important to note. Cringe Jean Pierre looking like a Dick Tracy villain. Saying that Peter Ducey is uh, guilty of misinformation here. Again, ladies and gentlemen, KJP distracting people by what? Dress up like a little kid in her dad's jacket for some reason? Gets mad at Peter Ducey for asking about criminal aliens. For every billion dollars Biden and Kamala send to other countries instead of American hurricane victims, I'll make her head... 10% smaller, says Danny. Yeah, I, it's, I don't <laughs> what is What is she wearing exactly? What bat, Which Batman villain is this? <laughs> ah, she's fitting in from her, her. Look at that. That's perfect. <laughs> KJP did this on purpose, right? This is not the first time. That was right. It's like, it's all a. It's all a Jim Carrey movie. That's how, that's how it goes. Interesting choice of outfit by KJP today. Yes, <laughs> Beetle, just in time for Beetlejuice. KJP wearing her grandfather's old suit. KJP looks like Steve Harvey. <laughs> Chat, is this real? <laughs> Chief Pierre showing up to the news briefing like... <laughs> oh, man. You know, uh, maybe it's like so that she can retreat into her suit, right? Like a turtle? After questioning like this, here's Peter Doozy. This issue of funding, the administration has money to send to Lebanon without Congress coming back. But Congress does have to come back to approve money to send to people in North Carolina. Do I have that right? Here's what I'm going to be very clear about. The president and the vice president has had a, a robust whole of government uh, response to this. Hundreds of millions of dollars. I said it at the time. And $200 million uh, that we have directly uh, put towards survivors here uh, uh, for, the dis for disaster help. And that's because of this president's commitment uh, to make sure that we are there for communities that are impacted. We take this very seriously again. We take this very seriously. And before, before uh, the hurricane hit, we prepositioned more, more than 1,500 uh, federal, uh, federal folks on the ground to help. And so 
we have made sure that every state has gotten their storm requested uh, emergency declaration. They requested it, and we made sure they received it. We've taken this very seriously. More than $200 million that we have provided to the impacted areas. And, but instead, people want to do disinformation, misinformation, which is dangerous, which is dangerous. Because then it, what that, when, when folks on the ground hear that, they may not want to ask for the help that they need. That is there for them. That is there for them. That's our focus here. But President Biden is fond of saying, show me your budget and I will tell you what you value. If he's got money for people in Lebanon right now without Congress having to come back, what does it say about his values? There is not enough money right now for his people values, in North Carolina who his, need it. That's not misinformation. Wait. No, that is. We, your, whole, your whole premise of the question is misinformation, sir. It's, what you don't, yes, yes, Which it's part? misinformation. Did, is there I money just, to I just mentioned, right now? I just, mentioned, I just mentioned to you that we provided more than $200 million to folks who are impacted in the area. And I just shared with you that people are deciding not to, not, uh, people are deciding not to, President not to. President to Congress that there's not enough money to help people We're in North talking Carolina about the SBA disaster loan. That's yes. money for people in North that, Carolina. And that's important. And people in North Carolina need that. Con so wait, this is nothing new. Right Peter, this is nothing new. Congress comes together. They provide money, millions of dollars, for disaster relief. We're asking them to do the job that they have been doing for some and time. I'm from a letter that President Biden sent to Johnson, some McConnell, time. Schumer, and Jeffries. The president's letter is not misinformation. Would you agree? No. The way you're asking me the question is misinformation. There is money that we are allocating to the impacted areas, and there's money there to help people who truly need it. There are survivors who need the funding, who need the funding, and it's the there. That you don't like misinformation. I said That's that, I actually said, we have the money available to help uh, survivors of Hurricane Helene and also Hurricane Milton. Now, we're, now there's going to be a shortfall, right? Because we don't know how bad it's Hurricane Milton is going to be. And so we're going to need additional funding. We're going to need additional funding. That's exactly what I just asked about. And you said it was no. misinformation. Yes. What you're asking me is why Congress needs to come back and do their job. That's what you're asking me. Congress needs to come back and do their job and provide extra assistance, extra funding to disaster relief fund. That's what Congress needs to do, and we're going to continue to urge that. You may not want that, but that's okay. That's what this president wants, and that's what the vice president wants. Thanks, everybody. As we say many, many times, they're not sending their best. Uh, as somebody who is from Tampa, who broadcasts out of Tampa, who is currently evacuated, right? Um, I, I got to tell you, that it, it, it would be nice to see some type of competence from our federal government. It would be nice to see adults in the room, adults in charge. Corinne Jean-Pierre is the spokesperson for the president of the United States. And she looks like a comic book villain. She is humiliating to all of us. And I think that the, maybe that is like the goal is a practice in humiliation where you just shouldn't depend on your federal government. And you shouldn't because these are the people that they put in charge. An absolute humiliation for all of us. Like what the hell is in, is in that, that binder? Uh, none of them are even on the same page. which is pretty, pretty remarkable. Uh, Kamala Harris and Ron DeSantis are beefing, and nobody even knows, like, what's what. Kamala Harris is attacking Ron DeSantis as utterly irresponsible and selfish to not take her calls. Ron DeSantis said he didn't even know that she had called. And then Kamala Harris goes and attacks DeSantis again on The View. Meanwhile, Joe Biden is saying Ron DeSantis is the greatest governor ever. It's all a mess. And this country is the most powerful country on earth. And it'd be nice to have some competency, especially in, in, in times of, um, well, when people's lives are at risk. It's, 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 it's really the time to like actually lock it up. America first, not America last. This is the goal, ladies and gentlemen. This is why we'll be voting Trump in November. It's your boy, Benny. Like, share, and subscribe. Uh, no more Batman villains running our government. That goes for you, Gavin Newsom, Joker.